What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to play another exhibition game in the NCAA Football 07. And before we get into that, I wanted to show you my latest change to the settings. And there's only one change, and that is the quarter length. I felt like the first two games, they went by really quick. I don't know if that particular season they changed the rules around to where the gameplay picked up a little quicker. For some reason, I think they did. Um, I don't know if it was... You know, when it comes to a, a receiver catching a pass and still going out of bounds, they may run the clock. I, I don't remember, but I feel like the game's a little bit quicker compared to 06. So I moved it up to six minutes. Hopefully we'll get, obviously, longer gameplay and uh, maybe more realistic stats, I guess. You'll see more, well, at least see more possessions for each team, so that'll be good. Everything else, I have stayed the, the same. All the uh, AI settings, both human and the CPU. Over time, I'll probably change some of these. I can. There's a few aspects that I can kind of tell I may want to change. But right now, I'm not going to do that yet. I, I just need to play more games to get a consistent feel of certain things that I feel like that may need to be changed down the road. But for now, everything's still at 50%. Okay, today we're going to take uh, a chance with... I had a request from someone to play as West Virginia and their offense, you know, back in the late 2000s. That's when Pat White and Steve Slayton were there when Rich Rod was the head coach of West Virginia. They put on a show back in the day, and that's what I'm going to do today. So we're going to be West Virginia, and we're going to use their playbook. It's going to be very similar to the Mississippi State playbook that I created in 06. Just a little heads up there. But they got a couple new things in there. Now, we want to take on a team that's equal talent. That way we have a, a good gauge of sort of what's going on in terms of stats and such. So I noticed that Iowa is right there the same across the board. Looks like we got a, a tad bit better defense, but uh, that, I don't think that's a whole lot of difference there. So we're going to take on Iowa today. Of course, I want to play on the road, make it a little bit tougher. We could do a day game. Oh, I want good weather. I don't want that to be affecting our gameplay. And I need to change the offensive playbook to West Virginia. We go here and done. I'm going to get used to 3-3-5. This, that's their default defense, and that's what their defense is actually set up, their roster is. So we're going to do some of that. It may not work much today, but it doesn't really matter. It gives me a chance to do something a little bit different. All right. Should be a lot of fun. I'm liking this series. I'm liking 07 more and more. There's, I'm seeing a whole lot more additions that I like compared to the few things that I don't like. Oddly enough, jump the snap is not bothering me as much as I was expecting it to. There are other things that worry me a little bit more, but again, I want to get a few more games under my belt to see if those negatives are consistent. I don't want to judge everything just off like two games. I like to judge it off 12 if need be. So, all right, should be a lot of fun. Been a long time since I played in this stadium, I guess, when the the Indiana Heat Dynasty in 06. The West Virginia Mountaineers and the Iowa Hawkeye. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. I've noticed between 06 and 07, going back and forth, I feel like 07's got a little bit better graphics. Just a little bit, nothing major. It's not as pixelated, let's put it that way, in 07. Steve Slayton was a stud back in the day. Him and Pat White dominated. Changed schematically football forever with the zone read and all that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Coin toss. Hey, let's get the ball first. Now, I want to check out their playbook. We can go through that. Uh, let's go to audibles. I'm not going to set up any audibles, but at least you can see what their playbook looks like. Now, I always recommend that you create your own playbook. But with 07, since every playbook is so different, they got their own plays within each formation, even though some playbooks may share the same formation. You're, it really helps to have a base, a playbook, to work off of if you're going to run a particular offense. So, in the end, once I start a dynasty, I'm going to create my own playbook and whatever that offense is going to be, I'll, that's what I'll use. But, for now, I'll stick with the default playbook. Just keep it simple. 
All right, they got Ace Jumbo, Ace Big, used to be Ace Normal in 06. They got I Normal, I Twins. Then, Strong Normal. Then you get to their gun. This is where majority of their offense came from. They got Gun Split, Two Back Slot, Normal, Wide Trips, Spread Flex, Trips, and Five Wide Receiver Trio. And I, I guess Gun Normals are probably a good example of this. QB Power is a nice little play that wasn't in 06. Uh... I think it's in this formation. We can look. QB wrap. I love QB wrap. It's like a, I treat it as a counter. You could keep up with a quarterback if you wanted to. Uh, maybe this wasn't it. Maybe it was this one. I, I'll say this. West Virginia's playbook is not as fancy as you think it would be. Rich Rock kind of kept it simple. They ran a lot of speed option. They did do some zone read stuff. But let me see if I can find a spread flicks. May have it. Yeah, like motion wide receiver option. QB slot option. Of course, you got speed. Halfback zone works pretty well in this game. But that's kind of like their offense, really. You can go to their two-back stuff. And, you know, uh, we'll go to this one here. I think this had a few different uh, new plays. A QB slot option from two-back slot. Then uh, there was another one. But it, there's a little more variation. But their offense is kind of like those same four or five run concepts in whatever passing game you want to throw on top of it. And... The few times I've got the practice with this playbook, there's not a whole lot of new stuff to it. I'm not disappointed by it in any ways, but it's not like the Florida playbook where they got a bunch of different little things that this one doesn't. Again, Rich Rod kept it simple back then. Probably why it works so well, on top of they had good talent. But that kind of gives you a rough idea of what the playbook is going to look like. Now let's go to our roster. Of course, we have Pat White, Richard sophomore at the time, starting quarterback, 91 speed. We're going to try to use some of that today. Of course, Steve Slayton, so our backfield is all impact players. Our fullback was arguably the best in the country at the time, uh, Owen Schmidt, if you remember him playing. I'm going to leave him as is. We're going to do a lot of two-back stuff. That 84 speed is enough for me to just keep it as is. I just want to see him out on the field some anyways. Wide receivers are there, tight ends. What we can do, this I want to play Tate and stay at like his speed. Let's see, left tackle... Offensive line, not too bad, especially on the interior. And then they run a 3-3-5, where your defense, it's any odd front defense, you're going to have humongous players on the line. Again, look at this defensive end, 6-1-2-90, 6-4-2-90 at the other end. And then you get to the defensive tackles, which surprisingly, these guys weren't very big. So I don't know if Rich Rod had a different strategy back then. But either way, 3-3-5. So that means your linebackers, 82, 87, and 91. Good little group there. Your corners usually play two the entire time. They're fine there. Free safety's not bad, but the 335 is like the 425, except it's got a different front six, more or less. But you're playing two strong safeties at all times. And today, I guess we're going to play Wicks and Malik or Malik, however you want to say that. We got a decent kicker, an average punter. Uh, and now let's check out Iowa's uh, roster. Drew Tate, senior impact player. We'll have, he can't run, so we may try to blitz him some today. But they got an impact running back as well. If I'm not mistaken, Kirk Ferentz has felt like he's run the same offense for the last 30-something years he's been there. I'm pretty sure it's a pro-style offense of some sort. I haven't checked out their playbook any, but I'm guessing it's a lot of ace and I. Fullback, not bad. Wide receiver group, pretty good. Really good tight end. Scott Chandler. Looking at their offensive line, all in the 80s, it appears. I think they run a 4-3. That's a really big defensive end to be a 4-3, but we'll see. Another really huge defensive end. They got quite a few defensive tackles on the roster. That tells me it's probably a 4-3 setup, and they're not very big. Let's see, 88, 85, 80 at the linebackers, 84, 80 at the corners, free safety, 89, really good. 87 strong state. So they got, like I said, exact same talent as we do. A really good kicker, average punter. And that is it. I think we should be good to go. So let's get this game underway. The Iowa is kicking off first. And we're ready to get this game underway. Decent I'm going to leave the, the camera as is. Fields at the goal line. Get up here. Good little run there by whoever number seven is. I'm not going to do any formation subs or uh, sub packages. We'll just leave that. Let's go with this QB slot option. Looks like we're going man 
It all starts on the ground, Brad. Shifting that way. Yeah, we may just keep this. Uh, get some yards out of it. Get the first. First of 10. We can go. Uh, let's go QB wrap. For two back slots. We're going zone 5-2. Probably just with three wide receivers. Hand this off. The Nothing there. Somebody got to me pretty easily there. Let's try to make up. I'm gonna run the ball a lot with this team. Just because that's their strength. And I want to test out some of the gun run stuff. So we're going with the basic speed option. Looks like they're going with man nickel. Looks like both safeties are coming up. Did I get the first? First and ten, good deal. Now, I'd, I'd like to see if they got any play action that's pretty good. It's basic P read. Again, their gun normal looks the exact same as their, uh, as the one from 06, but there's a bunch of other gun normals in the other playbooks that are completely different. All right, we're going man. I like the numbers, so I may just hand this off. And it's just a good stop there. Not much there. We can go speed off to try to make that back up before we have to pass. We're going zone nickel. We're spreading out. Probably go here. That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Not what we wanted there. I haven't looked and see if we're my third down. I saw that cross in. I think it was in this formation. We'll go here. We're going zone. We'll slide that to the left. Ah. Wasn't the best throw in the world. I want him to go more to the left. I tried to put some English on it. It didn't work. So we'll punt it. I'll do a basic punt. Yeah, he's going to let that one go. Oh, wow. I like the bounce. Awesome. They fixed that. That's cool. In 06, you can never do that. Interesting. That's good to know. That made me feel good right there. Start this drive inside their own five yard line. I doubt they'd put the ball in the air in this situation. Good stop there. And at the end of the game, I'll share with you my thoughts on some things that I'm liking and not liking and what I may adjust going forward. We'll go with another one high. Oh, he's got all the room in the world. Let me get him. All right, third and four-ish, third and five, maybe. I'm going to stick with the three, three, five. I got, oh, they got Cougar. That's three, three, five split. Interesting, three, three, five Bayer. Oh, they got some cool stuff in here. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. We'll go with a third, a cover three. I don't know what I'm really doing with the 3-3-5, but we'll stick with it. That's a touchdown. Wow. That guy completely missed that one big time. That safety just botched it. Wow, 91 yards. Okay, it's not the start we want, but whatever. All right, we'll get on offense and try to tie it. And I may even talk about it during the game instead of at the end, but I'll show you with a couple concerns I have, and hopefully you can adjust, change some things to make it better. I'm sure sliders will help with that. I'm going to go back here. Let's go QB slot option. 
They're going man three, two, five. I like the number, so I may just hand this off. Oh, that's a glitch. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It was a glitch. He just kind of stopped. I don't know why. My bad. Well, so much for that. Okay. Let's go P.A. Reed. We're going zone dime. Second down. West Virginia. Sets so like up we, with uh, Throws it. It's complete. Makes a move. Spixley get sacked. I had to get rid of it really quick. Seven yard play. Seven yard play. Let's go back here. Mm. Let's go back two back slot. Let's see what's here. Not a whole lot what I'm liking. Let's go. Let's go scissors in again. That's the only one I feel comfortable with. We're going man. It's third down. Come out the shotgun. Right here. Get the tight end for the first, the first down. At the 34. So guys, he found his tight end for the first down. Let's go yeah, QB power. Let's try that. Going 5-2 again. That's great. At least I like the shift. It's amazing how much the game is no, it's 4-3. My bad. I don't know why I was thinking 5-2. The Mountaineer. Line up with three wide. No. Even a late jump, but a guy came around on third. Nobody blocked him. Okay. Let's go speed option, trying to make up those yards again. Oh, great. Now they're doing a big max. This ain't going to work. I don't even know what I'm calling. It's a five wide play. Let's go. He's going left. Pick up the first down. That's just ad libbing right there, just on the fly stuff. That's the first down. He's throwing the ball halfway decent, though. They may want to stick with that. Let's go. Memphis. Uh, let's do Memphis. We're going zone. 4 3. White comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped the game. Got hit as soon as he tried to catch it. Let's go speed option, trying to make up for it again. I feel like we're behind the chains on every every fourth play. Every time we're up after a first down. No blocking there. Third along again. That's another. Okay, I'll just go ahead and say it. The run game is infinitely harder in this game for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because of. The jump, the snap stuff, but it just—it's just a lot harder. And I don't know. Maybe some sliders can fix that. Fourth down. We'll have to punt again. Just all the various runs I've done, it feels like it's a big struggle. And again, I don't know if it's because of all the. The line play. Young is back deep to return the punt. And this one is a beauty. Young calls for the fair catch. So that took a weird bounce there. At least the bounces are different. Let's go cover two man. Again, I don't really know what to call here. It's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. The Hawks are lining up with three receivers. Nate with the job. Juke move. Got a few yards there. Young. Gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. Going with three wide. We can go back to a cover of one. Second down He's got that spy in the middle, which I'm not a huge fan of, but whatever. The Hawkeye. Line up with three wide. It's a good stop there. Third and long. And we got a player hurt. He's walking off the field now. The trainers are going to have a close look at him. Like Let's do a basic cover three zone. The other cover three did not work whatsoever. For whatever reason. Ooh, almost intercepted. It's a good stop. Let's get the ball back. So, with six minute quarters, you can almost get in 
three possessions. This is our third possession. We haven't got done much with any of them, but it's possible depending on how well you play on defense. We got a great field position. We need to take advantage of it if we can. Let's go trips. Try QB slot option. I want some of these plays to work, but it's not going well. And they're shifting that way. I feel like I got to keep this. There's nothing. I mean, look at that. We're losing six yards every first down. It's not even close. Just no blocking. That's a concern of mine. I'll go ahead and say it. I mean, I said it earlier, but the run game is just a real challenge for whatever reason. And I like to think it's the line play of some sort. Get a first down there. They went cover one. You can attack cover one a little bit better in this game than you can in 06. Let's go here and try triple from two back slot. They're going again. They're going. For, I don't like the look. I may keep this though. West Virginia You have five yards. That's not terrible. We can go here. We can do triple from splits. We're going zone, I think. I may just keep this. Nothing. Just nothing. Nothing you can do about it, though. I mean, just good stop. Uh... Let's go with tight end corner. They're going man. I'm going to try to hit a touchdown here in the, on the curl route. White, back in the gun. Back to pass. He looks. End zone. Terrible throw. What was that? Gosh, that was a bad throw. Let's kick an extra point. Or a field goal, sorry. Just a bad throw. He was open, too. I threw it kind of late, but still. Hopefully I can make this. He gets it up, and he got it. And now we're going to take a get look some up. points out of it. Well, it's better than nothing. So we'll get back on defense and try to get another stop. He sends it off. Grigsby takes it at the eight. Kicker got destroyed there. Going three wide. I'm, I bet they got quarters in here, don't they? They do not have quarters in three, three, five. Oh yeah, they, there's quarters. They got a spy in the middle too, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't like where everybody's bunched up. I have to hit the coverage audible over time. Pick up a first down there. I thought I was paying attention here. But I looked up and wow, the guy's got 100 yards received. I'm not a huge, uh, you know me, you've seen enough of my games. I'm a four down lineman type of guy. So I like the way everybody's bunched up to I'm going to have to do a different type of 3-3-5, three, three, I guess. Take with three wide receivers. Here's a draw. A draw play. Good stop, though. Didn't get anything. Like here, Cougar. I don't know what, let's do cover two man. Let's see what that looks like. Everybody's backed up. I'm not a big fan of that. Get everybody down. That's a tight. Interesting. Ooh, bad throw, thankfully. Then there's split. That's a 3-3-5 split somehow. It looks like a 4-4, which is interesting. Let's go basic cover three since it's third and long. We got him doing that. Let's see. Iowa comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. That's interesting. You can make the 4-4-4 four, four, four look with a 3-3-5. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Grigsby was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll bring up a point. Okay. Good stop. They line up to put this one away. Let's get on offense and try to get something going. I like the quarter length though. It feels like it's back to 06. Again, I think they changed some timing rules where they sped up the game a little bit. 
less stoppage of the clock, pretty much what I'm getting at. Let's try QB sweep. The offense will start at the Going zone 4-3. Shifting that way. West Virginia comes out of the shotgun. Good little play there, pick up eight yards. Nice, nice, we'll take that. Uh, we can try QB wraps. I feel like Slayton needs to start getting the ball a little bit. But again, it's 4-3, we're outnumbered. I could keep it with the quarterback, but I just want Slayton to touch the ball. He may get the first just off of his own push. No third and one. Uh, let's do direct. Take that. Get the run game going a tad. Now it's first down. First down, we've had a lot of bad luck running the ball. So let's throw the ball on play at, on first down. Let's go with this PE read. We're going zone nickel. We're kind of outnumbered. I may just throw this. The with four receivers. Oop, I don't like that. Oop, ooh. I forgot I'm a lefty. <laughs> Threw me off. I should have flipped it. Let's flip it. Let's do the same thing. We'll flip it. All right, they're blitzing both nickelbacks. So we are going to throw this over the top. The Mountaineer. Come out the shotgun. Throw him deep down the left sideline. Oh, I dropped it. What do you do about that? All right, third and ten. We'll probably go back to deep strike. We're going zone. Probably try to go to bold in here if I can. I may try to go to. Oh, I dropped it. Golly, come on, fellas. I know they're getting hit every time they catch it, but still. Not one completion yet. They keep getting hit every time they try to catch it. Young is back awaiting the punt. He punts it. I'm gonna stay back. Young for 17. All right, back to defense we go. Back to a cover one, I guess. Let me try that three of that four four look again. Instead of this. Ace backfield. Oh my gosh, look at all this room he's got. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go to the split. Go back to another cover one. I'm a big fan of that safety going all the way back like that. Good stop there. Neither team can run the ball all that much. Again, I felt like that's a bit of a theme so far on the, the default sliders. They got quarters. We could try some of that. Going counter. Got an easy eight yards there, third and two. We'll go back to a cover one. They line up at the 45. Third and two coming up here. Iowa comes out with an eye formation. Toss play. He got good blocking right there. First down. Looking tried. I'm go, we can go back to quarters if I can find it. There it is. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Play action. Wide open. First down for fullback. Oh, I've completed a few passes. I was fixing to say it said zero completions. Maybe he was referring to that one possession, I guess. Either way. First down. Two tight ends here. Another run. 
Get a stop there. Somebody stop him, please. Almost got another first down. Clock's going by. That's already sick. Wow, that's quick. How did it go by so quickly? Surely the clock's not speeding up or anything. Man, it felt like it was so quick. Second down. I'm not paying attention to the clock. Now in the in the PS3 games, they would speed up the clock, which I hated. That made no sense why they done it. Intercept that. Oh, what a catch. See, it's first down. Of course, he stayed in bounds. Oh, two quarters. First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. No, I don't want to do that quarters. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I messed up. So he's got all day to throw. Intercept that. Big play. Just don't fumble. All right, we got a minute to go. For some reason, I thought we had a whole lot more time left, but that clock's line. So. Let's go trips. Uh, go slot cross. A little standard from those six days. We're going man. I'll leave it as is. I'm not going to do any slide protection. I'm only worried about the. He passes it. Oh, good catch. First down. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you. This thing is like a laser. We can go. Coming out of his hand. Let's go curls. Hurry up, get to the line. Going man. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. West Virginia lines up for the shotgun set. First down. Look at the throw. White. Good catch there. Did he get the first? The line out made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Let's see. White lines up with four wide outs. Looking. Ah, throw the wrong one. Thank you. That's what I get for not paying attention. Let's call a timeout. West Virginia will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Go offense. We'll go here, I guess. Let's go. See, this is all normal 06 plays. Every single one of them. Let's go back to Scissors in when he get down the field. Right. We're going man. I'd love to go to this deep dig if I got the time to do it. Doing that. Intercept. Oh, he caught that somehow. How's the play and a half? Okay, 24 seconds. Let's go back. We'll just call the same play. We're going zone here. About to run out of time. I'm gonna have to call a timeout after this play. Come on, get to the line. Why are you taking so long? That was a lot of and a sack. Golly. Everybody and their brother came. I couldn't get it off in time. I'll go deep strike, I guess. Deep attack, whatever they call it. They're going man. Cover one, so this is going to one to go routes. Go to the opposite side. And he's got it. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of I'm going to spike the ball if they'll give you enough time to do it. And we'll kick a field goal. Hopefully we'll make this and we'll be down a point. Doing a lot of shifting. It's up. Perfect kick. And it's right down the middle. So we take a Okay, end of the half. We can look at some stats. Folks, let's pause now. Neither D, neither offense is doing much in this one. That's actually a good thing because the previous game, I put up a ton of points. Off, but we actually didn't put up a lot of stats though. It was a lot of turnovers. And the, my biggest worry of 07 so far was the insane amount of turnovers I saw between both teams in the previous two games. But today, there's only been one turnover, and that was just like a tip by a defender. So that felt kind of normal. So I'm happy with that. That's, it scared me going into this game thinking, oh, there's going to be like six turnovers. Now, we still have another half left to play. It can Anything can happen. But that's a plus for me. It, the turnovers went down so far today. Uh, okay, we had over 30 
plays on offense. They only had 18 because our defense just played pretty well. Now, yards total between both of them have been fine. They're even. So, going up to at least six minutes felt fine. Now, that'll at least stay the same. If not, I may increase it again. We'll just see. I always kind of gauge by how long my videos are. Kind of get an idea of how that's going. But we're not throwing the ball all that well. It's realistic, I guess. I mean, Pat White's throwing the ball fine. It's just we're not catching the ball. We're getting hit a lot every time we try to catch it. But let's just get right to the third quarter. Well, the team stats was the big thing for me that I wanted to look at. Kicks it away. A friend of mine, uh, he sent me a slider set he found on Operation Sports. I may try out uh, in the future. I'm not ready to do that yet. I still feel comfortable just changing everything on the out of the gate. We're going with the quarterback play right here. I'm going to go over here. We're going to toss it. Yeah. I saw that play coming a mile away. Uh, we'll go cover three here. From their own 14 yard line. It's second down and a long. But again, I'm gonna there will be some slider adjustments. I just need some time to play more of this. Oh he's mm, thankfully he went out of bounds. They just took what the defense gave them. Third and eleven. We'll go. They got a three three five bear, which is cool. Interesting. That's cool that they got that in there. Let's just do quarters. They line up with the 19. Ball on the 13 coming up here. Ah. Looks to pass. I jumped the snap in time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta time it perfectly. But you see me over there on the right. I timed it perfectly. Knocked the right tackle out. And it was off to the races after that. But if you don't time it right, you have no chance of getting to him. So it's a 50-50 ordeal. Unless you're just really good with the timing. So I like to see our run game do some damage a little bit. But I know we're going up against an equally talented team, so I can't get too upset over it. What I may do in the future is go up against a, a cupcake team and see if I can run the ball well against it. That may make a, be a good idea. We'll see how that goes. Let's go back to this QB slot option. We're going man. 4-3. They're shifting that way. I may just hand this off. Hopefully we get good blocking. Nice. Good deal. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Good run there. His average carry is good. It's like almost six yards. I mean, that play helped. What's cool if you see gun split, you see the Z receiver on the right, but when you go to QB slot option, he's over on the left. Some formations and some of the playbooks are like that, which is pretty cool. You got to pay attention for the little stuff like that when you go through those playbooks. Now, they're sprinting out really hard for whatever reason. Let's just go this way. Quarterback got destroyed. I guess he's okay. Look at this. Mm. Good pitch, though. Got it off in time. QB. Let's do QB wrap. Let's just run the ball some more. We're going man 4 3. They're doing that. I may keep this. Again, this is actually a QB play. You can hand it off if you wanted to. Ah, he just. You just got to take your chance which one you want to go to there. And it didn't work there. Oh, scissors in. We're going man. Good deal. We're going to try to get a first down here if we can. Everybody and their brother's blitzing, but I want to go to Barrett on the right if possible. Touchdown. Big play. We'll break this play down. They went man. You got an inverted levels concept on the right. You got two digs on the right. I want to go to the one that was going to give me the first down. I didn't have to use a smart route for it. There was a, He had enough on his original route to make it work. I got out of the way because I knew the blitz was coming. I don't like the stadium pulse. I need to get that out of the way. But I threw it right on time as soon as he made his cut. Perfect play. Awesome. Good throw. All right. 
That's a good first drive out of the gate. And they're lining up for the PAT. We'll kick an extra point. Almost got blocked. That was close. Right down the field, though. That's what the offense is supposed to look like. So I'm glad we got to at least see one drive today where it looked pretty clean. Now I'm just ready for Iowa to get something going on offense because so far they haven't done diddly squat. Let's try a 4-3. Or a 3 3 5 bear. We'll go with our cover one. I like the way that looks. That's interesting. The D line shifts over. Wide open. Spider 2 wide banana to the fullback. Almost got the first down. We'll stick with the same play. From their own 29 yard line. Second down. They shift on their defensive front. Set to go to the air. Screen. He didn't get the first, so we'll probably go back to a curve of one. I'm guessing they're going to try to run it. Fire green. I want to do another curve of one. I don't need the double spy. Let's just do middle plug. They line up at the 28. Third down and two. The D line shifts over. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like when he does that. Let's do that. Fake. He throws it. Ah, first and down. Tied in. That was not an easy catch, but he made it look effortless. So that's because it was effortless. I feel I, I've had I saw a couple complaints on online, like at, on Operation Sports, where people didn't like the momentum bar. But I, I don't feel its true impact yet, because I'm seeing teams come back and doing things. I mean, that first game I had to make a comeback, and Syracuse had all the momentum in the world. Oh, look at this play right here. Oh, he dropped it. And it's incomplete. That was a great throw. So that may be an issue. At default, maybe the wide receiver drops or a little need to be a little bit higher for both teams, for both, obviously. Now, when I do sliders, I want to change them for both sides, just kind of depending. Now, again, that slider set I was talking about earlier, it's a little different on both sides. But, again, I'll, I'll try it eventually. There's never going to be no perfect slider set. Everybody's going to feel this game differently. Ooh. So now it's third and ten. I want to try that Cougar look. We'll do a basic cover three. I'll control a defensive lineman this time. Yeah, let's bring him back. Iowa. Yep, I jumped the snap again. Oh, he felt it. I couldn't get to him, but he didn't get sacked either. Okay. Our defense has stepped up today, that's for sure. See, now the, the clock looks more realistic it, for now. It's, we still feel got like we over got three or three and a half minutes left to go. Get a block there. So feel like the game, the pace is going good. I, I think it really depends on those rule changes they made that year. Uh, let's do let's do wide receiver motion option. We're going man three two. Five. I'd love to. Hmm, and they're doing that. I may just hand this off. There's nothing there. No blocking. Steve Slayton is gas, but we got to keep him in there. We're going man, and that guy's blitzing. We're doing that. That's good. As long as his impact defensive end doesn't mess us up here. I'm going to keep this with White, get out of bounds. So he keeps it and he gets Good run there. But only 62 yards rushing so far in the game. Again, I know we're going up against a team that's equally talented, but still. It feels like the run game's getting a little bit better, though. All right, they're going with man, but they're blitzing their nickel again. Uh, dang it, I'm going to have to keep this for numbers sake. There's not a whole lot there, just good defense. He picks up a yard on the play. 
Let's go curls. Let's flip it. Curl flats incredible in this game. We're going man. Boom. First down. Ass. We are on the 22-yard line. Let's keep throwing the ball. Let's see what's here. I'm a big fan. Uh, let's do the double cross. To go in zone. I'm, I would love to roll out here. I may just do that. No. Oh, he dropped it again. Okay, now th this may be a problem in this game. We may have to do some slider adjustments. But this is like the eighth drop of the day. By even the slightest touch of a defender. Both sides of the ball have been the same way. He barely got touched here. And drop. It's just like as soon as they get touched, they drop the ball. So maybe sliders need to be adjusted on wide receiver catch for both teams. Because, again, it's happening to both teams. So, okay, just food for thought. Here's a PAF slide. This is, I wonder if this is a lefty RPO. We'll try it. We're going man. I think this is a left-handed version, as is. It is. Awesome. I didn't get it off in time. Intercept, yeah. That was my bad. I got hit as soon as I threw it. That's why he got short arm on the throw. Look at this right here. Yeah. That's a realistic turnover. That's normal. I don't think there's anything weird about that. So now let's get back on defense. The offense will start at the 20. The Iowa Hawkeyes the take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Cat and two. Try to get another stop if we can. Play action. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got a first down there. Wow, their leading receiver receiver's receiver. receiver's already got 126 yards. Of course, half of it came off that 90-yard play from before. Let's do... Uh, they're pretty balanced offensively. They're running and throwing. All right, here comes the same play again. Three wide outs here. This is going to the quarterback. This is the halfback toss. With a pitch. And I completely and missed it. Ooh. He might not risk a throw yeah, now. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary. Let's go back that cover they one. They on so when they oh, finally call the play, so they're throwing they a tad bit more. Because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong yeah, guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Counter. Good stop there. Good game, though. Love those counter plays in this game when they work. All right, let's go with the 3-3-5 Bayard. That's one cool thing about the 3-3-5. You can stay in it the entire game, and you don't have to make any form or, uh, personnel adjustments. I don't mind it. It doesn't matter if they go big, small, just whatever. I another drop. So... We're going to check the drop stat. Let's just check that now, or I'll forget it. Let's go to stats and scores. Let's go to individual. I think you have to see it from here. They've only had one supposed drop. We've had, wow, if I'm reading that correctly, we've had seven drops already. So that is an issue, and sliders can hopefully fix that because that's just too many. Again, I know half of these have, were guys getting hit as soon as they try to catch it, but wide receivers catch balls all the time when they're getting their head knocked off. So may have to change that. I'll have to go back and look at that slider set I keep mentioning and see what that guy done. I bet he's got the wide receiver catch up higher than normal on both sides. I'm just assuming. Will be the return man. Let's see. Looks like I got some room on the right. Get a block right there. To the first. Let's see. We're on the 29-yard line. Let's try Q lead. Pat. Let's do power. We'll flip it. Get the field to work with. They're going man. They're doing the over front. That's actually an under front, to be honest. But we'll still go this direction. I like how they do all that shit and it's pretty cool. 
That's good here. That's a great I couldn't the pitch it. Wouldn't let me pitch it. No big deal, though. Draws power. Let's just do speed, I guess. We're going with zone 4 3. Lining up with three receivers. I prefer to go left. Good blocks there. Go Pat. Get a first down. You got a player hurt. Injured his arm. It's like a linebacker. Now, we need to give the ball to Steve Slayton. He needs to touch it some. So let's go QB wrap if we're going to hand it to him regardless. We get, yeah, we're down a man on the line, but that's okay. We'll just hand it off to him. It's not a whole lot there. Only got two yards out of that. I'd prefer to do QB wrap again. Let's do zone. They're going man, strain bicep after the game. Okay, yeah, I'm liking the six minute quarters. We're still we're in the third quarter. And this is our third. This is our third possession of the quarter too. All right, let's go curls to try to pick up the first. We're going man. Let's see how I may just. Try to get the first. Not even bother with a go route. Nice. First down there. Now let's throw the ball a tad. Now this may be the last play of the quarter. I may not be able to get this off in time. Let's do this middle screen. I like the halfback weak version, but we're going zone. So this is what I wanted to see. I'm going to try to give this to Barrett. Get a block there. Nice. Six yards. Love that play. Good addition to 07. We can try five wide. Let's see what they got here. Middle attack. Couple smash concepts. Under cross. A screen. Let's do clear in. Let's flip it. That looks new. We're going zone. I may go to my tight end here. No, the whoever triangle is. Ooh, I like his. Oh, the went man. That's okay. We still got the first. That felt pretty good. Let's keep throwing. They got option pass out of gun two back slot, which is I fooled around with it a little bit. I don't mind it though. Let's try the PA read though. We're going zone here. I'll probably keep this. We got West Virginia. Give it to our fullback. About six yards there. That play did look pretty good. Let's do QB slot option. They're going man. I'd prefer to hand this thing off to Schmidt. Got a couple yards, not a whole lot. Third and two. We may need to go speed option to pick up the first down. We're going man. Going 4-3. Let's see who's going to be on the slot. That means we got to go right. Because that linebacker to our left is coming. I didn't have to do that. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That was my bad. I should have kept it. He was going out. I should have just ran up. Dang it, I'm an idiot. I should have kept it. That's, that's all my fault right there. So that's a realistic turnover. That's all on me. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go here. Let's do cover three. It's first and ten. Ball on their own twelve. Iowa lines up with three receivers. There you go. One. They got plenty of time. They can run the ball. You know, we're only down six points. I'm gonna go back to quarters. It's second and eight. Ball on the 14-yard line. That may be a flag. He looked off sides. I guess he wasn't. All right, third and three. We'll probably go 
Food are going three wide. Uh, let's do a monster two. Let's get crazy here. They may straight up run the ball. And they're going to do it. And they get the first down. I didn't know what they was going to do there. Going, uh, let's do a cover one. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. No, go back. I don't like the way that went. Uh -oh. Free safety had to come down, make the tackle. At the 30. Young gets seven yards on the play. So that'll make it second down. Let's try. I don't like that course. I like the course from here better. From their own 30 yard line. It's second and three. Tate drops the throw. Stepping up. Surveys the field. Make a play. One-handed catch. We've had nine hurries and only one sack. We'll go cover one, I guess. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. They shift down the defensive line. He steps up. Catch. They're catching it. We're not for whatever reason. They're moving the ball very well. Wow, well, he's got 192 yards. So then you got a ton of drops, and you got one receiver putting up a, a career day. So none of that makes any sense, but whatever. Touchdown. Well, that was easy. All right. Fix to go down a point. Let's try to get on offense and not turn the ball over this time. We're struggling to get in the end zone, but it is what it is. That, oh, you got to be kidding. They may take that on. That's the first time I've seen this. That's the rough and the kicker. He just kind of ran into him. Go back. Oh, let's see if I can go back and look at it. Yeah. That was, this was obvious. Look at this right here. He just really just ran into the guy. <laughs> Jeez. What a mess. I feel like the theme with 07 is they looked at what was wrong in 06 and went the exact opposite in 07 and juiced it with steroids. Like, okay, we don't like the way special teams is in 06, so let's really go all out in 07. And it's almost like they went too far with it in terms of, you know, tons of block kicks, roughing the kicker, stuff like that. Return camera. Let's just go all out and do some crazy stuff. And another fumble. Golly. What do you do? Let's go scissors in. Got to make up for it. They're going man again. I'll leave it as is. We're doing bringing both safeties. Let's go here. I'll just go to Barrett. And nope, intercepted. Oh, and, oh, no, it's a drop. you got to remember, anytime they get touched, it's going to be a drop. I'll just run the same play. All right, they're going man. I'll probably leave it as is this time. Intercepted. He stood there and waited on it. Well, it was fun. Is what it is. That was, I guess, that was my fault. I don't know. But the turnovers are starting to ratchet up again. Of course, that was my fault on that one. So I'm not too worried about that turnover. Uh, somebody got to him finally. On with the second sack of the day. Let's go back to quarters. Just not playing good offensively. Just too many drops, too many turnovers. Man, that's an even worse play. Third and forever. Golly. Uh, 
Let's go basic cover two man. Sack. We're getting the ball back. Uh, let's go middle fan. Nope. Don't want to see excessive celebration. <laughs> Look at that. They got punt reverse, reverse fake. That's pretty cool. They added all those. I'll have to fool with those later. Again, I think they just went all out on special teams this year. It's like, okay, we didn't like it in 06. Let's just change everything about it. Some for the better, some for worse. Ooh, I didn't have to. Yeah, we're going to let that go. Flag. Who's that on? Personal foul. Kick catching interference on the kicking team. Nice. I didn't see it, but we'll take it. Again, another weird penalty that you would never see in 06. Now it's all there in its glory in 07. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. We got a minute 21 to go. We're about to run out of time. Oh, gosh. Let's go here. The Mountaineer. Come out the shotgun. I hated that shift there. And he out of Fumble. I'm going to do... We're going to go curls all the way down the field if we can. We can probably do it. We're going man. Good play there. Pick up a soft... With a curl, you get like 15 yards out of it now. Let's stick with the same thing. They're going man. They're bringing everybody. It feels like they are. Inner bad throw. Terrible throw. Very unfortunate that wasn't picked off. Let's go linebacker attack. They're going man. Ten yards to go. If they go cover one, hmm. White steps back to pass. Looking, lets it fly. And that ah. one's fallen in complete. Third and ten. It was a good try. This wasn't the best throw. I'm going to go back to curls. I know it'll work, and we just need the. If I can get to it. There's like 18 play or 30 plays in that formation. We're going zone this time. Oh, we got lucky there. First down. He went for the swat and it didn't work. Let's go here. Uh, let's go slot cross. We're going man. One. Over the middle. East man. And they make the stop at the 31 yard line. And this ain't good. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's okay to move the ball. Let's go direct. I need to use my timeouts. I may lose because of that, but we'll see. West Virginia lines up the shotgun set. They snap it to the back. And he's level at the 18. Did I get out of bounds? Uh, I hope I did. We can do a direct again and see what happens. Yeah, see, the clock goes. That's why. Let's call a timeout. The clock still goes even when you get out of bounds. So, that's food for thought. Now we know. Let's go back to slot cross. We're going zone this time. I probably won't have enough room to do this. I just not thought about that. I may leave him where he's at. Three wide outs to the right side. White to the air on first down. He lobs it right side. Caught. We'll get out of bounds. We're only down a point, so I could kick an extra point if needed. Let's go back to curls. I know we can get something from there. We're going man. Almost got the first. Let's call another timeout. I got one left. 
We'll go offense. We'll go offensive line. We'll go power option. That's an interesting look. I don't know what that means. West Virginia comes out of the shotgun. Option right side. Now he pitches it. And he tackles him hard. I think I'm going to kick a field goal here. It's not often you see a safety making a play in the backfield like that. Well, these days you've got Three, two. Finish, almost like a fourth linebacker. One second. Woo, that was close. <laughs> we'll go offense. We'll go backfield. Special teams, and we'll kick a field goal. Please block. Watch it get blocked. That would be hilarious. Fingers crossed. Let's get this one and end it. Game over. Golly. Wow. Game over. What a game that was. That was wild. 16 to 14. I was wanting to see a celebration. I don't know if they was going to do it or not. And this defensive struggle finally comes to Okay, end. nothing special. I thought they may try to I don't know. I'm sad to see this one in because okay. it's been a lot of fun and I hope All right, let's look at some stats and talk about some things. West Virginia 16, Iowa 14. This is now probably the it's the, it's the number 2 greatest game of all time. Of course, like I said, we just started playing this game so that doesn't mean a whole lot. Okay. We ratched up the quarter length, and neither team still didn't do much on offense yard-wise. I think what I may do in, like, the next game, I'll go up against a patsy team, like a really bad team, and see if I can put up 500-plus yards with a good offense. If I can't do that, then I don't know. That's going to be kind of interesting what to do about that. We had 64 plays. They didn't have many at all just because our defense played a whole lot better. Uh... There was only four turnovers, and I feel like the vast majority of them were my fault, so I'm okay with that. So I'm happy that the turnovers weren't crazy enough today, but still, that's f three games in a row with four turnovers or more. That seems a little high, but whatever. There's no turnover slider in this game, so I don't know how you go about combating that, but that's still a lot. But again, half of them I feel like were at least my fault. Turnover, yeah, we have the two picks. Let's see, let's go to individual stats. Uh, no, let's go Let's go back to team stats again. One thing I want to mention, we ran the ball 31 times, and we had barely 100 yards. It was a struggle. Again, I know we're going against a defense that's got the same talent as we do. They only had 27 yards rushing. That concerns me a little bit. Running the ball is just so much harder for whatever reason. I think it's just the line play. I don't know if it's the jump, the snap stuff. I, I don't know yet. But that's three games in a row where I haven't seen any potent rushing attack yet. And I know we threw the ball a bit more than we did running, but that's sort of what was going. We had to do that in a couple of drives. Passing, I think the passing game in this game, the passing game in 07 is great. They've improved on a lot of things that I like, but there still may be tweaks needed down the road. But there's so many new additions. I could tell they really put a lot of effort in the making the passing game a, a whole lot more potent in this game. And it shows. Let's see. Uh, now we can go to individual stats. Their quarterback played well. Of course, half of his yards came off of that one big touchdown play at the very beginning. Let's see. Running the ball again. Neither team ran the ball well at all. Uh, let me go to our stats here. Again, Pat White throwing the ball. He played great. We had way too many drops, though. I mean, it was a bit ridiculous. Uh, 50, you know, again, the rushing just wasn't anything special. He had 13 attempts. He had a good, decent average, though. But again, nothing to get excited about. If I see this type of stats against a really bad team with this same offense, then there may be an issue. Receiving. this Again, the passing is fine. The biggest problem I saw were the amount of drops. There were five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we had eight drops today. That's a lot. Eight drops. Again, half of them were when they were getting hit as soon as they tried to catch it. But still, compared to them, they only had one drop. I, I should have went and looked back at the other two games of that, but that is still kind of glaring. Okay, I think that's it. I'm not worried about... I don't like that drive. I want to see the box score. I don't think the momentum is really messing me up any. I'm not seeing it affecting me negatively in terms of 
once a team really gets the momentum, you can't do anything about it. Look at the – I mean, everything went back and forth. They scored a touchdown. I scored a touchdown the next quarter. Or I got two field goals. Then I got a touchdown. And then in the fourth quarter, they got more points than we did. It's just a back and forth. So I don't think the momentum thing is as big deal to me yet. We'll see. But I don't think it's affecting me all that much. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I think we learned a few more things about it. Maybe in the next video, I may go with that slider set I mentioned several times in the video. It's completely different. I mean, the guy changed everything. And it may be for the best. I don't know. I just need to test it out. But come on back. What I may do is I'll play a good team, take on a really bad team. Hopefully we'll blow them out and we'll see realistic stats to reflect that. We'll see how all of that goes. But until then, I'll talk to you later.